So, Origin Uncut. It's pretty cool. I just watched it. I think you're going to enjoy it. If you like this format, please give us a like and post a comment below. And I think Mr. Ian Dow will make more of these. Right, Ian? Give me the camera. You, you give me the camera. You know give me the camera. You know give me the camera. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. Here you go. We're going to finish the intro right now. So we have Origin HD is like we follow the big story about what's going on in Origin. Now, some weeks we don't have something crazy going on, but there's all these little things that are going on within the company. So this week we're going to we're gonna try Origin Uncut. It's just a bunch of scenes put together. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Uh, we are going to uh, a store called Amelda's that unfortunately the um, owner um, got cancer and passed away, but she had helped us out in the past. Pete and I spent a lot of time going through people's barns, going through old mills, going through everything that shut down just to find this type of stuff. We're gonna go um, meet with someone over there to see, you know, they have some old machines and um, I don't know what else. We'll have to look and see what else they have. The old pop motors? Yeah. yeah. I've never seen one like that. that. Usually fun. you see them like this on the singers. Yep. This is a Western Electric though. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> yep, still got the old original bobbin winder. These are so cool. Mm, she would, yeah. she would so these are actually going to go into production. So. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. She would like that. Yeah, yeah. And I made sure I had that right conversation with her about, you know, what was going to take place because it would have killed me to come in here and do the sales and oh. everything because I knew how she felt about it. Right. So um, it was all good. And I, I've talked to my mother a lot while I've been here. Because <laughs> every corner there was a bag yeah. of hat and mittens. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> things she created. So yeah. it was, it was kind of cool, but uh, you know. It's there's just, a fun catharsis in that. Area. Oh, it's, yeah. Just, you know, she always wanted us to be a part of this. Well, she made me a part yeah. of this. <laughs> you didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice, no. So, so nice we will 100% take that. Would it be possible to come back and grab it when it's not raining? Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, just, you know, just reach out to me. We'll yep. set up a time because, of course, I'm not here all the time. Right, so 100%. Right now, it's just I'm meeting people. Yep. And then, Do you, you guys own the building? Yeah. 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 Like I said, she wouldn't even sell us webbing. She'd be like, here, take my webbing and just replace it when yours comes in. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it was like. That's how she yeah. was. Yeah. You know, yeah. She, she wanted to help everybody yeah. out. and that's So, yeah. this. Was when we, when we started developing our gi pants, I remember this roll. We came up here yep. and took this to develop oh, yeah, our Brazilian jiu-jitsu pants. It's technically a bull denim. Right. It's a it's a three to one twill. Right. Dude. A little right hand twill. Yep. How cool. That's awesome. Actually, I think I've seen some of the old gi stuff that has this same green. Yep. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a FAF 130. Do you know how many? Freaking years I've looked for one of those. Well, what up? What's happening? Not much. Oh, spider fit. Everyone loved them. Oh yeah. Samples are sick. Dig it. I want him. They to look try great on Brian. Look great on Justin. What are these? Spider fit. Thirty twos. Spider fit. Spider fit. Thirty two. Thirty two. Slim taper. Never skinny. You know. I love that. <laughs> it rolls right off the tongue. There you go. Get those fat, let's get those fighters on, bro. Yo, Ian, what What's are we up? doing? <laughs> You're me now? I'm 100% you. Putting on these fighter fits here, Dennis. By, by order of Dennis Eiler. We'll try these out. Yeah. Come on, man, come on. What's up? Oh, come on, bro. You look look good. at that. I really like the fit on those, dude. How do they feel? They feel great. Yeah? They're not tight anywhere. They don't pull me weird anywhere. Yeah. The waist is perfect. The waist looks perfect. I think we really pockets got this fit dialed. I think, oh, you think, I we're, think we're done. You, yeah, pulled think we're those, you pulled those pockets up too, I noticed. Yeah. This is washed with I brought the interfacing the pockets too, up, right? Yeah, I think interfacing really looks great. Amazing. That interfacing looks great. The interfacing of the waistband. Oh yeah. You moving into them? <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like a snail. I just found my new shell. Yeah. <laughs> see, look at this. Yeah, I think, see that Dennis? The new pocket height is way better. Yeah, yeah pocket height's better. Pete likes it too. Also, Pete said he likes the pocket height better. It's yeah. way better. Yeah, I think. Awesome. It only took me like 12 tries. Yeah, it only took you 12 tries. We got it. We're there. Hey, we're there. We got the freaking pockets right. Yep, so we, we have a meeting with right. Jason. We can be like, hey, Sir. we got it. Sir. <laughs> so. Pete, what do you got going on this week? Uh, trying to not be fat, mostly. 
Why? Sassy. <laughs> I have to go to Europe next month to film for the documentary to finish. Yeah. And I'm like way fat for filming right now. I like to eat. Jocko calls me a pot licker. <laughs> Bro, that, you know what that is? Like you're licking the pot yeah, after yeah. everything. Bro, we used to shop at the, uh, the thrift store. They had a food thrift store. Yeah. Or you'd get like week old stuff, week old bread, week old whatever. You grew with that bag cereal. You didn't have the box cereal. Bro. You got, you got the cereal I, you know, in the bag and you were like, what is this? That was, no, the, un, <laughs> the unbranded stuff. Yeah, the unbranded. Like O's. O's. That was your, you just O's. You didn't get the cherry in it. No. You just got the O's. O's were yeah. good, yeah. dude. Yeah, but if you wanted sugar, yeah. you needed to go tap a tree and evaporate <laughs> yeah. all the water off to get yeah, you didn't get frosted sugar. flakes. You just had flakes. No, you just, didn't get the frosted part of it. Yeah. He ate you get that right. government cheese block, yeah, bro. Oh, boy, that government cheese block? so good. The orange stuff. It was great. I just love government cheese. Government cheese is good. Government cheese with some spam. The waste don't work. Like, yeah, bring, the, bring the waste in, and then this, the stuff we talked about with the um, some tapers. Yeah, right. I'll have those juice adjusted today. Hey, look how, look how good. Let's, let's start here, right? This is, so for people who don't know what makes, I've heard this a lot, why do men wear uh, flip-flops? Well, in the South, this is- Where we come from. This is church attire, <laughs> this straight is, up. This is fully appropriate. Is, you can go to court, Southern Baptist. You can go to court in sandals. Yep, as you long as you got chinos on. If you're wearing golf pants and sandals, yeah. you can say, yes, your honor. Yeah, yeah. you're good. <laughs> you're good. We only have eight jeans left from December to ship out, and so if we can just prioritize those, especially this week, and then get into that first week of January, there's I think 46 in the first week. So I think especially if we can focus on those two, I can tell customers like, hey, these are going to ship within a week. Um, I mean, I would say shipping within two weeks, but being made this week, I think that would be helpful to be able to know exactly what's going in production, exactly what we're handling. So right now we have like 2,000 deltas in back order, and like 1,800 factories in back order. So we would only be focusing on factory here. North Carolina will only be focusing on Delta. And so then all back orders will get complete within three weeks. We'll be completely out of back order from the moment they start taking over Deltas. Yep, and that'll so, coincide with the new pattern. Now will coincide with the new pattern. It's one big switch. Yeah. Ian. What? See this chair? Yeah. I robbed it from in there. I know. I robbed it from in here. Why don't you guys buy yourself some chairs? Yeah. <laughs> Please, why don't you pull some budget out, just put some money out of your budget, and buy yourself some new chairs. I'm getting. I'm getting. Uh, Joe set me up with a with a tall desk. Who is it? Another one to get a tall yeah. chair. Now the We're just get rid of chairs. Um, Ian um, did some shit to my chair. He it all up, <laughs> dude. That's ten push-ups, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that is ten push-ups. Okay. Yeah, let's see those. Give me that thing. That's ten push-ups, bro. Do I ten push-ups, bro? You swore. Huh? <laughs> you ten, dropped an F bomb. Ten push-ups for F bombs. Okay, ten push-ups for my F bombs. Ten push-ups. Let's go, Ian. Yes, sir. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, <laughs> nine, nine, nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she spawn from? I don't know. Go see what they're doing. <laughs> hey, can I get some quietness in here? Holy shit. <laughs> Will you give me a drink in the car? That would be helpful, Roberts. <laughs> Holy shit. So how come we're redesigning our uh, Go labels, Pete? What's the... Yeah, so we've improved the flavors. We're constantly, this idea of continuous improvement, right? This is a thing in, honestly, in business. It shouldn't just be a thing in like lean manufacturing, just in business, continuous improvement. You're always thinking about how to get better. And the Go flavors for us, we wanted to improve. Like we don't just want 85% of people to like the flavor. We want 99.9% .9 of people to drink a Go and be like, this is ridiculously awesome. So, you know, Brian, uh, and the team have been really pushing that to the next level. We hired a, a consulting firm. We put them on retainer, you know, spent a bunch of money and re-engineered the flavors. It's the same flavors, but it's like Sour Apple Sniper compared to the new Sour Apple Sniper. It's like the differences is right now the Sour Apple Sniper, you can savor it. You can just, you know, just tip it back, enjoy it. The new Sour Apple Sniper, you're going to be like, Go, 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 crush, like you're just gonna 
smash them. Kip, Kip was saying that if we're going to change the flavors, we should take that as an opportunity to adjust our packaging. Joe said the same thing you did. He said the, the flavors are legit. Yeah. So I'm sitting here going, that is a call to action for the entire company. Mm -hmm. How many times in your guys' career will you reformulate something and think it's amazing? Hopefully only once. <laughs> exactly. So. Exactly. You have to redesign a can. Mm -hmm. You cannot have cans that are the same and just be like, well, you got to turn it to the back and see the ingredients. It's different. Right. Cans got to be different. Right, so right, right. So now you have a redesign. Mm -hmm. And if they look almost the same, it's not really a redesign. I mean, you have that much time to grab a consumer's attention. Did you get that? That much time. And so how do you do that? So we don't have our key innovations on the front of the packaging. So we put some of our key innovations just off the side, some on the front, you know, the sugar-free. We have zero crash on the front right now. So there, we, we changed some things, got some things on the side panel, just really making that improvement because folks who don't know anything about the product, how are they going to learn about it? Mm. They're going to learn about it in the, in the three seconds you have to grab their attention. Cut is good. Sleeves the cut's are really good. Sleep oh, flattering, a awesome. little bit, little bit loose in the body, not over the top. Yep. Sleeves are good. But it, tight enough to make you look jacked. Right, I was gonna say, I like that. If, it but if you are more, jacked, makes you look all shirts are tight. Right. Yeah, that's because <laughs> you have a torn bicep. <laughs> <laughs> Joe looks jacked because his biceps are torn. Go ahead, show your gun, Joe. Look, You're look, gun. torn, torn bicep. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Why are wearing larger t-shirts? The, the final fit for the t-shirts. I think I we're am. good to go. I call Jason, tell him to pull the trigger. So we're gonna start manufacturing our own. Yes. Yeah. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. I feel like I'm the second or third person to put on the large so it stretches out. Yeah, look at the size you Ian, what size do you wear? Yeah, I got a big large. head, man. Alright, let me see the camera. You're large. But this will be good wash and dry. So once it dries, it'll be out of No, it is wash and dry. Oh, this is wash and dry. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. Nice. Huh? Why don't you give me the camera and I'll get your reaction. <laughs> I mean, I feel good, Ty. You feel good? You like it? I love it, yeah. <laughs> it is tough. It's tough. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Did you see how quick that was? Oh. Still got it. That's, uh, Blackie Bouchy. See? Why the Bouchy. Why the Bouchy. <laughs> and the element of surprise in there. <laughs> yeah, it looks good, man. It looks tough. Tough. Bro, you got freaking... You're gonna have Delta jeans on, Origin T. Black Delta jeans. You're actually gonna represent. No. Less Nike. Less Nike. Less communism. <laughs> More freedom. Less communism. More freedom. Less communism. I think we're good to go. I think we do an approval. We call Jason. Look at this. Yeah, the tag. The tag. Oh, yeah, it feels really good. So legit, dude. Like, what is that material? Just. It's just like a uh, rubberized screen. Print. Hey. Everybody's like, I told you we were gonna have the best fit T-shirt in the United States, brother. Let's go. That's right. They're awesome, man. Good to go. Make them. Make them in the tens of thousands. The QR code. Yeah, QR code. Yeah, it's legit, dude. I mean, yeah. freaking 100 percent made in America without compromise. So we have new designs coming out. So we need to be able to make our own shirts, turn them around fast, get them made, get them shipped out. So we screen print everything here. So. North Carolina is going to make them. They're going to ship them up to us. We're going to screen print them and new designs coming out. We got a bunch of new design shirts coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see the artwork. We got a whole board. This is one of the designs here. It's cool, right? Mm -hmm. It's another one for Hunt. These are Hunt ones. We have Jiu Jitsu too. Another one. Ooh, that's going to be a, it's going to be a hot topic. That one got the most votes. <laughs> Yeah, it's a hot, that's a hot one. You know, some other stuff in here. We got, we're thinking about that may or may not make it. I kind of like this one. Yeah, I don't know, that one's, gonna like that, one. that one's people, pretty cool, huh? People are hunting for the whole one. Yeah, that's a good looking shirt. I think we'll call that one first light, you know? First light in the morning. There's like a Salvador Dali, I guess, or whatever. Some other things. Simple stuff. 
Maybe we'll use that one for the immersion camp. This one, no go. Yeah, those ones probably out. Then we got a bunch more, man. So we're gonna have a full line of graphic tees and graphic hoodies. Sweet. The idea is we'll also sell blanks to other brands who give a shit about Made in America, who want to be kind of aligned with us and what we're doing. Thanks for watching this episode of Origin Uncut. Like and follow and comment down below if you want more. Right here. Comment, just say, yeah, comment. Comment here if, if you, you like If you want to see more of them. If you want to see more, and I'm sorry for all the inappropriate things that were said.